Hey there. So in this problem, you have, uh, we have you as a character. So you are driving along at 25 meters per second. And you have some valuables in the back of your pickup truck. And you suddenly see this giant hole. So uh, this hole on the road is at a distance of 55 meters. And your foot is right beside the brake and you know, you're almost superhuman. So your reaction time is zero. Immediately you, you know, at 55 meters, you push the brake. And maybe this is like a you know, very heavy pickup truck or something, you have a lot of cargo. And so it is going to slide. So you're gonna have kinetic friction. Sorry, uh, kinetic. And you, you will wanna know what is the smallest coefficient of friction that allows the truck to stop before it falls into the hole, that's part A. And for part B, you wanna know if indeed you're able to avoid the hole if your uh, valuables are going to slide or not. Okay, so this is a kinematics problem. You masquerade as a dynamics problem. So we know we have an initial velocity. We want the final velocity to be zero. And we want to find the acceleration that will produce that in 55 meters, right? So if you have a mu k that is larger than the value that we're gonna get because this is an equation, then the value of x the displacement is gonna be smaller, right? So you're going to break in a shorter distance. And if mu k is smaller than that, then this is gonna be larger and you're going to hit the hole. Okay, so uh, we, um, sorry, I guess this is a pickup truck. So something like that. And then, I don't know, you have a statue over here or something that is extremely valuable. This is abstract art. And so you're moving in this direction, but you see the this huge hole. Um, actually it's bigger than that. It's like it's like this big something. So you want to stop. Okay. So we go from the pictorial representation, which is very pictorial in this case, to the uh, free body diagram and better with those. So we have X and Y. Uh, we have um, mu, so I mean uh, mg, the weight, heading straight down. There's no angle or anything in this case. We have the normal acting um, straight up. These uh, pickup truck. It's not moving in the vertical direction, right? So this torical. And we have friction, kinetic friction. And at the moment you push the brake, you don't have a forward force anymore. Okay, so actually the brake is part of this 
uh, friction force. So these are the only forces that you have in, uh, in this situation. So as always, we go from pictorial representation to free body diagram. We read Newton's equations directly from the free body diagram. So sum of forces in X, we have negative kinetic friction or friction in the negative direction. That's it. That's equal, that equals mass, mass times acceleration in X, also known as max. We have the same for the Y direction. So we have negative mg plus n equals, in this case, the acceleration in the y direction is zero. So mass times zero, that's still zero. So this whole thing is zero. Um, we know that the kinetic friction is mu k times the normal. We have the normal over here. Normal is plus mg, right? So we can substitute it over here. It's just mg. And so this, we can put it in here too. Negative mu k mg. Okay, and we have mass on both sides, so we can forget about those. And we want this mu k, so we can um, move this one over here, dividing. Actually, let me just rewrite it again. So this implies that mu k is negative acceleration in x divided by g. Um, although I guess we're going to use it like this, right? We, because what we want is ax. OK, so. Let's do this. So we want the final velocity to be zero. We have an initial velocity. We have a displacement. Now we have an acceleration. And we want to find uh, the mu k that will make that possible. So zero equals v naught squared plus two um, minus two mu k g delta x. So we move this one over here, negative v naught squared equals negative two mu k g delta x can get rid of the negatives and solve for mu. So divide by two g delta x, that's mu k. Let's plug in some numbers. So this is gonna be 25 meter meters per second squared divided by, this is 19.6, uh, two times G, 19.6 meters per second squared. Uh, this delta X is 55 meters. And so 25 squared is 625, shall have it on that one. Meter square, second squared. This one is 
1078. meter square second squared so these cancel out as they should because mu k is unitless it's just a coefficient and so 625 divided by 1078 is uh, 0.579 So, you know, 0.58 for short. And that is the answer that we wanted. Uh, for the second part, it's asking you, assuming that the truck stops, can you stop without the valuables sliding and being damaged if the coefficient of static friction between the truck and the valuables is 0.6? And so the answer to that is going to be yes, because um, you have your Fs max, which is going to be 0.6. Um, the free body diagram of your objects in that case, you know, you have, um, it's a non-inertial frame. So the frame is accelerating and it's accelerating in the negative direction. So it's as if your objects are going to feel a force of the same magnitude, but in this direction. So friction is going to be in this direction. And so you're going to have your 0.6 over here. And it is not going to quite go up all that way. It's going to go to the 0.58. So just barely, but your, your valuables will be saved. So good for you. Thanks. <laughs>